your chaos. Tony, if anything has been an indicator for Creator Clash tonight, both these guys are going to stand in the center and throw a ladder. Yeah, moving forward. They touch him up. Here we go, round one. And right away, both guys working the jab. You see Ethan, decent head movement to start here. Oh, fires off a right hand, it gets through as well. And slips out of range. Yeah, Ethan's looking a lot more relaxed uh, than Leonard right now. Yeah, Leonard a little stiff so far. He's fighting with like a sense of urgency almost. Yeah, it's like he wants to, to make sure that he establishes something quickly because it feels like Ethan is very calm and starting to be methodically pressing forward here, Charlie. Yeah, that's what it's looking like to me as well. And again, on that front foot, Tony, maybe setting up a pull, oh, but he gets caught with the right hand there. I was going to say, maybe setting up a little pull counter action, being on that front foot so heavy. Yeah, he really is. And he's really sharp with his punches. He looks very stiff, Leon Hart. He's jabbing away as they both stand center of the ring. Right hand doesn't quite get through, and they clinch. They separate. Leon Hart points to the crowd and said, he hit me in the back of the head. But here we go once again. And if you are Leon Hart, you do need to relax just a little bit because even if you're not doing a ton, being that stiff with your chin that high in the air, Ooh. Tony, it's not a good look. Yeah, neither of them big windmill punches weren't a good look either. And he takes a big deep breath there. Maybe that's bravado, Charlie, but I'm not exactly sure what the what the goal of that is. Uh, I'm also not entirely sure either, but he's going to need to find like a... Di oh, there we go. Yeah, these, are, Ooh, these, these big punches swings. are big swinging windmills where you can see them coming from a mile away. You saw that one coming from uh, the Buck Stadium there, Charlie, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Looking like it. Oh! Great right hand from Ethan. And Ethan separates once again, and, and again, Leonhardt giving him a little bit of bravado there. Swing and a miss on the right hand. Tony, you're shaking your head. Yeah, yeah. This, this technique is, is not, not the best I've seen so far tonight. Uh, he's really short with these punches, really short with his jab. If he can't land the jab, he's never going to be able to land the right hook. Oh, there's the bell. One sneaks in late there. No, but there's our first round, gentlemen. Uh, Charlie, talk to me. What are you seeing? Well, I'm seeing exactly what Tony's seeing here. I, I too, have a, a trained, keen eye for, for boxing prowess, and it is looking like Leonhard is just kind of stiff out there, very robotic. He landed a few good blows there, but there's just not a whole lot of power behind him because he's just so stiff. And right there, our raid energy replay, you see I need to jab. I need to want Ethan's not having a hard right time getting him. shots through. Let Let's see what right Leonhard's coach has to say I need to, to want you coming behind him. I need it. Quit playing. He's not playing. No. I want you to hit him. You hit him while ago. I want you to knock the fuck out of him. For real. For real. We're playing. He can't Tony, hurt you. That's a boxing coach's hurt. boxing coach. Yeah, that's a proper boxing coach. I give him real instructions. Stop playing. Fool them straight punches. Stop swinging these windmills. Yeah. He's not fucking around. That's what he said. I caught him in the hotel uh, gym last night. And let's just say the hardest punches that Leon is, or Leonhard's taken have been from his coach. Last night in the Pats, and he was getting worked with those. So he's got a real coach in that corner, and he's telling him, listen, you got to let him fly here. Yeah, straight punches, none of them wild hooks. And again, Ethan comes out looking at those big overhands. You know, Tony, I would say even, again, maybe a bit of a reach disadvantage there for Ethan, but he would do well to throw that right hand down the pipe instead of over the top. Definitely, yeah, the straight punches get out fast, though. And again, this is oh, a big one over, over the top. Shot. But again, not really landing clean because they are so close and these overhands are swinging behind the head, straighten those bad boys out and you'll have a far better chance of landing from exactly, either guy. Exactly, yeah. The straight punch gets there way faster. And you see Leonard, he's trying. He's trying to start measuring that right hand straight. Ooh, but he's having a hard time lost. defensively. You see that, that zombified arms out defense right now, Tony. It's not doing it well. Ethan's looking for blood right now. He is throwing some hammers for sure. And if you're Leonhardt, you got to get that guard up, not out. That's the first thing. When that chin goes up and the arms go out, it's KO City. Yeah, it certainly is, my friend. Now, Charlie, you're a big fan of the Pokemon genre. Yeah, of course. Oh, big right yeah. hand again there. Oh, and he turns his back. Oh, Shot oh, behind oh, the head. Oh. That's not going to count as a knockdown. Yep. I know the crowd's going to go wild for that one, but that's not going to count as a knockdown there. We're going to call a yeah. timeout, and he's going to warn both guys about shots to the back of the head here. Now, Charlie, what I was going to say is, 
the elements, right? You have fire, water, grass type Pokemon, oh, electric types. Yeah. If you're Leonhard here, what's his greatest strength? What does he use to counter this big time pressure forward from Ethan? Well, probably a fighting type would be my guess. Need to have that fighting type. Hopefully not weak against the overhands Ooh. because here comes some more from Ethan. Ethan is really swinging hard here. He's trying to put him to bed. He's trying to tuck him in. He said these these right hands are not well filled. And 10 seconds left here in this second round. We're going to find out if Ethan can land one of these big ones. And there is the end of the round. Ethan's definitely got that, that fight in him, that eye of the tiger, if you like. You know, he's really trying to hurt the guy. He's been very respectful to two gloves. I need but then, you to fight. But then, he's trying to knock him out. Fighting, Absolutely. Let's take a listen in to Ethan's corner and see what they have to say. When he starts hugging you, don't hug with him. I'll put this under, okay? a gymnast at one point so he's got good endurance and great instincts for the sport you hear tony in the corner get under that jab then come with the right hand because right now being straight on the center line with that jab he's not building the momentum to finish that right hand oh, 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 oh. Oh, Jesus Shopping, but the score is closed. Absolutely. That's it. It's over. Leonard gets wow. dropped. And that is all she wrote. You were right, Charlie. The lights were on, but no one was home. My goodness gracious. What Woo. a right hand and follow up from Ethan Nestor. Wow. Wow, he set up perfectly. Perfectly. Just as we were saying it, Tony, you dip under that jab and Lynn absolute hellfire behind a right hand there to start yeah. the beginning of the end. Great work for Mason. What a killer. What a killer. And I think you nailed it, Charlie, when you said, listen, th this guy looks so calm and collected. And then when that bell rang, it was like he switched it on. Jab. Look at the high guard. Double touch with the jab. Bang. Ooh. On the ear. Beautiful shot in our Fansley Slam Cam. And again, you see it from a different angle. Massive shot. And Leonard had never been hit like that. The follow-up came behind it. Another big shot right behind the ear. And that was all she wrote. Crank game plays your winner. And to the ring we go with the official decision is Akinola. What a match from our two competitors. The referee has stopped the match. The referee has stopped the match. I can't hear anything. The referee stopped the match at 26 seconds left in the third round. The winner of the match by TKO, Ethan Nestor. He is fired up, Ethan Nestor with a win, and he is with our in-ring interviewer, Chills.